Hi, my name is Michelle Milanich, and I'm an English teacher here at Brexville Broadview Heights High School. I've been teaching English for approximately 23 years, and this is about my 10th year teaching freshman English. Some of the technology that your son or daughter will be using both from home and at school is going to be their textbook, which looks like this in the upper corner of your screen. Um, this is an online textbook and they've already been trained and know how to use the book. In addition, they will also be bringing home a vocabulary book and their vocabulary book looks like this. There's no need for them to bring their vocabulary book back to school. They can simply use their vocabulary book from home and we will review the vocabulary um, while they are at home and I will post the answers so that they can go through and take their vocabulary quizzes every other week. In addition, the easiest way for you to support your child is to be keeping up with progress book and checking progress book daily for assigned quizzes, essays, tests, and homework. In addition, also, they should be checking their Google Classroom daily. All assignments will be posted in Google Classroom, and it is very well organized to help them keep track of the assignments on a daily basis. I use the school's grading policy, which is 80-20. 80% of their summative grade comes from assignments like essays, tests, vocabulary quizzes. The formative assignments like homework, some smaller quizzes, and classwork or notes is what they use to help them achieve and do well on their summative assignments. If kids ever do poorly on a summative assignment, they should see me to possibly do a retake within a week's time. It's really important for the students to be checking in online daily when they are learning from home. I will be starting each day with a Zoom during their regularly scheduled class English period. Possible activities will be doing things from home or possibly doing the same thing that we're doing in the classroom. This is not going to be busy work. The work that they will be doing at home would be work that the students would be doing in the classroom. On days that they would need me to explain stuff, I'll either explain it via Zoom and then let them work on their own, or they might work with us for about 30 minutes of class time. So Zooms will vary anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes. It's very important that your student checks in on time at the start of the class period, because when we do have a shorter Zoom, I start promptly and then dismiss them. I understand that circumstances are very strange this year. And if there are some kind of extenuating circumstances in which your child may need a, an extended deadline, I'm happy to do so. They do need to talk with me. So please encourage them to communicate with me. During the first semester, uh, the first thing that we're doing is the summer reading assignment. Most summer reading assignments will be finished by Wednesday. All of the books that are currently on the screen are books that they could have read this summer. In addition, we'll be starting after we do the uh, summer reading assignment, we'll be moving on to short stories. We'll be covering some titles like The Cask of Amontillado, The Interlopers, There Will Come Soft Rains, The Most Dangerous Game, and The Seventh Man. In addition to covering fiction, sh short stories, we will also be covering nonfiction. We'll be looking at MLK's I Have a Dream, the FDR's first inaugural, inaugural address, and other fun things that were written like before hip hop was hip hop. We do quite a bit of writing during first and second semester, both informal and formal. All tests and quizzes will require some kind of written expression. During the course of this year, the students will be working on narrative, persuasive, and expository essays. We will be covering grammar as we're covering writing. During second semester, we'll be covering William Shakespeare and also comparing different mediums. We'll finish the year with the Odyssey and a research project. I thank you very much for sitting with me in my classroom today, and I encourage you, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.